Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer. It's Sunday the 27th of February 2022, which means today I do my tarot spread. Yay! Alrighty. Big breath, guys. Big breath. Let's pause. You know, I was looking last week at the cards, etc. that I pulled last week. Remember I said that there was going to be one that comes out who's going to try and save us? Well, was it the week before? Because this has been building now for a few weeks. Wow. It's amazing what is happening. Please know what is happening globally right now is meant to be. Okay? <coughs> we are seeing the realignment of energies people who have been nasty are being put into the position where they must show generosity kindness those that are generous and kind they're not going to go on the flip side but they're made aware of what others are doing so they're seeing that flip side of the yin and the yang that's what's happening this week guys okay so the first card that i've pulled today was from the beautiful Louise Benton. There's her card. If you want to go and search her out. She's got beautiful artwork. Look, there's the art. There's the artwork on this card. Just to show you. It's beautiful designs. So I've already got my card for today. Which is this one. Look at that beautiful artwork. Then I've already pulled out my tarot card. And I've already got my little lovey-dovey card that I do. There he is, my little lovey-dovey card. So I've already got those three. So all I need today is my ruin stone. So I've got my pack of ruins. They're all here in their little bag. And I just put out the intention, that thought of what I want. I want a stone that represents the whole world for the next week. What is something that the whole world for the next week needs to hear? needs to learn from or to demonstrate more in their own lives so let's just delve into my little bag of stones oh and i don't look and i just put the stones into my hand and as i just flick my hands through one will stay oh it's this one hello little one who are you oh looks like a little less or a Z. okay so i'm going to put him there Okay, so let's go with today's spread. Ooh. You know, I always have to take my ego out of these cards because I've already looked at this card this morning. <clears throat> this is the first one I got. It's called the Alchemy card. So I'll put it up if you want to pause the screen so you can have a read of the words. But... <clears throat> alchemy I had to research this a little bit because this is an ancient art that many civilizations including China Europe even um, Middle East they've used this traditional art or a craft or a gift and the big one that everybody talks about is turning stones into water and turning rocks into gold because what alchemy is, when we look at it in the definition, please, pardon me, put it into, put the word alchemy into Google and see what it comes up for you. Because it's where something turns into something else. It is transformed. It is transmuted, which means it energetically realigns. So this is big for today's reading. So let me read the alchemy card first, okay? Earth and sun. Now you've got to remember, earth is separate to the sun. There's two, right? Sublime counterparts. Sun's light resonates with earth's beating heart. Life reaches forth to embrace the sun's rays. We are blessed by sweet light as we greet each new day. Great solar being. <clears throat> essence divine 
illuminating our world, marking cycles of time, forming and merging in an alchemical dance. The splendor of this union holds us entranced. Through cons, oh, through eons, not cons, sorry, it's eons. Through eons of time, sun has supported earth in harmonious balance for life to come forth. Sacred connection, celestial perfection. Long may your souls be aligned. I honour the divinity of creation. So there's the card by Louise Benton. So what she is saying in the words of these poems, because Louise writes all these words, not only does she create the beautiful artwork, but she also writes all these um, quotes herself. So when we look at the earth and the sun being two separate entities, earth is here, we get nourished by the sun, right? So what we're seeing right now is two forces. People might say good and bad. Some might say left and right. Some might say up and down. But regardless what your belief system says, we've got two forces in play at this point. And these two forces must learn to get on. They've got to get through any judgments, any prejudices, any retaliation from the past, grudges, regrets. Hello, how often do I use those words when I talk? Get through your grudges and regrets because it only help, creates a hell loop, remember? So we go into the second card because this one is so important. I asked the universe to throw me one card out of my deck. And the card that I got was the Two of Cups. So again, we have like the sun and the earth. Where there's two that have to be created in a partnership. So let me go over to my book because I've already got my marker in my book. So it's the Two of Cups. <clears throat> the energy of the Ark has now manifested into reality. So see the Ark that's joining the two of them together, right? There's an Ark here. Finding expression in the form of the Two of Cups. This beautiful card is always a welcome sight with regards to romantic relationships. When the Two of Cups appears, it shows growth in a relationship. Whatever the stage you have reached together, it represents moving to the next level. Wow. Putin and Ukraine have just gone to the next level. See how there's two? It's two. Everything's about two today. So we've got the alchemy turning one into the other. We've got the two of cups. For some... This can represent commitment, engagement or marriage. Either way, it is an important union. With the Two of Cups, the relationship is surrounded by the atmosphere of harmony, balance, kindness and a silent understanding that words cannot express. Such is the delight of this bond that somehow life cannot be imagined without the other. You are deliciously intoxicated and the feeling is mutual. With the wonderful energy of this card, if there have been quarrels or disputes between loved ones, then the Two of Cups can bring that reconciliation and rediscovery of the emotions that originally held this unity together. So this week, guys, oh my God, it is so important this week to look at our relationships with each other, to look at that yin and yang of not just what's going on with Russia and Ukraine, but all over the globe. Think about the alchemy that represents turning one into the other. Okay? Because now we go into my little lovey-dovey card. And believe me, I do not pull these myself. I shuffle and shuffle until one falls out. That's the what technique that I use when getting cards. Love would take care of a friend in need. Love would take care of a friend in need. That means that we're building greater friendships and relationships with people. Where we're starting to not be so offended. We're starting to not judge and accuse others as much this week. 
there is this healing occurring all over the planet. So let's go into my other little one, my little ruin stone. Let's go find out what this guy looks like. I've got my ruin guide. Where is he? I don't think that's the one. Let me just see if that is the one. No, that's not the one. Oh, it's this one. Okay. So it's this one here. Down here. Whoops. Let me just turn around my stone so you can see him. It's this one here, guys. Okay. It's this one here. So this is the one I'm about to read. Okay, I've got him. Whoops. Dropping all my cards everywhere. Okay. So this one is pronounced so we toe. So we toe. So we low. Okay. The sun equals success. One of the three fire ruins. Ooh. For Nordic people and the sun and its power to warm, heal mind and body and grow crops was where and treasured. Okay. So we've already seen the sun appear in this card, the alchemy card. We've already seen that it takes two. Okay. Whoops. Just setting me up the wrong way. Okay. Love would take care of a friend in need. So this represents... That the sun's power to warm and nurture, to heal. Didn't I just say the word heal? Isn't that funny? Okay, so let me read what this card says. The ruin says, A strong positive ruin, signaling the presence of success in almost any upcoming activity or pursuit. Yay! Good for health, self-confidence and happiness. The last one says, also indicates, indicates significant personal growth inner strength and the potential to achieve goals so what happens is when we're looking at our relationships which is the two of cups because this is all about marriage partnerships and remember here guys marriage is just not you and somebody else your partner this could be the relationship between you and your bank this could be the relationship with you and your boss this could be the relationship with you and your car this could be the relationship between two governments around the world Yes. So this week is nurturing. It's healing. This week is a reminder that when we look after ourselves and our friends, because we've always got to look after ourselves first, right? You can't look after any, anybody else unless you look after yourself first, right? <coughs> when we look after ourselves, then we're in a position to help others who are in our tribe. Okay, so what the cards are showing me this week, a little bit of a mind blow because I was not expecting these ones to come out. I wasn't expecting this to come out for another two or three weeks, to tell you the truth, where it's already starting to heal. So once we start looking at all our hurts, all our pains, why, what drives us? What are we passionate about? When we realize within ourselves, our hobbies, our routines, our characteristics and what drives us to doing things, we're going to realize that we form new partnerships. Now, this could be, you know, when you, um, oh, what's the word that they use for it? Um, oh, I nearly had it again. You network with people, okay? Networking. So this might be a new time where you say, oh, geez, you know, I've got um, something on my mind, I want to start a new business. I'm going to go and start talking to people and see if I can get this off the ground. So you start networking, okay? So there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of healing that's going to be occurring this next week. I am so excited. I wasn't expecting to see this for another couple of weeks yet, okay? But it's looking like the cards are saying it's coming earlier than even I expected. So remember, guys, look after yourselves this week. Remind yourself of how treasured and adored you are. So then when you do go into your relationships, it could be even with your pets or your neighbours, your co-workers, your family, your friends. Could be people on the other side of the planet that you talk to every day. Good morning, Anna. <laughs> Knew you'd like that one. Um, you know, we look at our partnerships that we have. Are you reminding those people why they're in your life? How often do we say to our friends or family, 
I am grateful you're in my life. Because. Answer the because. I am so grateful that this morning I got to talk to Anna, who lives in Wisconsin, USA, by the way. And I'm in Australia. I'm in Brisbane, Australia. She's on the other side of the planet. And I spoke to her this morning just to see how her day has been for her. How amazing is it when we connect, we form these relationships, we get this trust, this loyalty, this dedication, most of all a devotion of love with these other people. And we always look after ourselves and the other person in these relationships. That's what the card is saying. Because if you look at alchemy, they call it magic. They call it magic. Turning a stone into a nugget of gold. So look around you this week, guys. What have you got the potential that you think in your life is just another rock? But has it got the potential to be your golden nugget? Because it doesn't have to be a physical rock sitting on your table like this ruined stone. It doesn't have to be like that. It could be turning your life into something that is a golden opportunity. So that's what the cards are saying. Heal yourself this week. And really think about who you want to be in the future. Because love always conquers. Always. And it always takes care of those who are loving. So it's a great time to start healing. You know, there is a little bit of uncertainty going on now. I heard last night that the internet's going to go off. Banks are going to close. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Who was that great general who said, what did he say? The words, they were really good. Um, Prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Or was it the other way around? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. So, of course, we prepare. We prep. You know, if you're a prepper, okay? Think of it that way. But at the end of the day, guys, looking after ourselves and then we're able to help others they see that magic turning opportunities into those golden opportunities around us so guys have a safe loving week love you all talk to you all again soon bye To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.